Hi again, we have reached the exercise on the problem number. It's a very important problem since we will encounter it uh, later on and in programming, uh, any type of programming, you will be asked about checking if a, num if a number is prime or not. So it's a, it's a bit important to pay an extra attention on this program. On this program. So we need to write program uh, which indicate if a positive number n, so the user should enter a positive number n, is prime or not. So they are telling us that a uh, number n is prime if uh, only if it's only divisors are one and n. So, uh, for example, let's take an example, 7 uh, is a prime number since the only divisors are 1 and 7. However, 6 is not a prime number since 1 divides uh, 6, okay, and 6 divides 6, but however, 2 and 3 also divide 6. So, let's start. We need an integer n, so we need also to do a do while here since we need to check that the number is a positive. So, enter n, scan f percentage d address of n and we will do while n so as long as it's less or equal to zero i will repeat so how can i check if uh, a, a number is a prime so i need to check all the divisors uh, except one and n so i need to loop so let's take a, an, an integer here so we need to loop from i equal to 2 of course not 1 because 1 divides the number and of course i will not place equal here i will place just less strictly i plus plus so, so those all the numbers for example if i take n equal to 6 those are the numbers from 2 to 5 so if uh, i divides n so if n modulo i it's equal equal to 0 it means that it divides sorry it divides the number so it's no more a prime so i, I, I cannot just uh, state or check if it's if it's different than zero if it's not divide. I need to uh, uh, so whenever one of the numbers i divides number n, I should stop the loop because it's it's doomed. The number is not prime. So I need to check if if a number divides the original number, not if it does not divide it. Because if it's not divided, uh, uh, it doesn't help me a lot. It doesn't say if a number doesn't divide a number if the original number is a prime or not. So if I doesn't divide n, it doesn't mean that n is prime or not. So I need to check if if it uh, equal to zero, it means it's divide and I need to stop. So I, how can I stop? I can place a break here. It means I'm going out of this loop. So when I'm here, I have two options. So when I reach here, it's either I have uh, exit the loop from break or I have uh, tested all the values and uh, it, it turns out that the number is not prime. So Let's see uh, uh, the, the both cases. So if I will exit normally, so exiting normally, what does it mean exiting normally? It means that I have looped uh, the loop entirely. It means I would be equal to, what's the difference of that? Greater or equal to n. This is normally. It means that I have checked all these ones and I never exit unnormally. So the number, uh, so none of these i numbers could have uh, divided n. And what is the case where I exit using a break? Using a break, it means that i is still less than n. So I will use that. I will use this fact to check whether I have exited normally or using a break. So if i is less than n, what, what does it mean? It means that I have exited uh, through a break. So I have executed n modulo i, it means the number is not prime. So print f percentage d is not a prime number. So and percentage d is n. However, so if the negation of that is i greater or equal to n, it means that I have looped, I have checked all the i's and none of the i uh, divided n. So the, 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 the number is prime number. So let's try it. Let's enter 7. So 7 is a prime. Let's enter 6. 6. So 6 is not a prime number. So it's, it's obvious. So let us just uh, uh, repeat. So we have read the number n. And we have looped from 2 to n minus 1. And we have checked all these numbers. If these numbers divide, if one of these numbers divide n, so the number is not prime. However, if I finish all the loop and none of this number divides the number, it means that uh, the number is a prime. So we know also that we can, uh, for example, 
uh, instead here of n, we can write square root of n. So since if we have uh, uh, to check a prime number, I don't need to check all the divisor till n minus 1. So if a number divides, for example, for example let's take 12. So 12, uh, number 3 divides 12, and 6 divide, divides 12. However, 6 is a multiple of of 3 so we have a rule in math that we can check till square root of n included so if i will do that i need to, to just modify that to here so if i is less than or equal to a square root of n the prime number is is not a prime number so let's check it so let's say 12 so it's not a prime number let's say 7 is a prime number so however now i need to modify just a bit the program uh, and i want to print the first hundred prime numbers so there is no n here i will modify it as in the previous exercise so i loop over a j from one to a hundred and i will check for each j if it is a prime number or not so i will place all these here and i will modify this so i don't want to check if it's uh, uh, if it's not a prime number so I will keep that and I will modify just the uh, the, the, the uh, equality so it's now greater than square root and here instead of n I would place a j so let's uh, and we need to print so I don't I will not print all these so just to have one row of prime numbers so let's check so we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. So those are the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Uh, so you can play with that, and you can maybe try other algorithms related to uh, prime numbers too. So we have a multitude of, of uh, ways to uh, calculate whether a number is a prime number uh, or not. So this was for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message, and I will try to answer you back as soon as possible. And again, thanks for watching.